In this video, we are going to talk about substitution suggested by the equation. So this is another solution for differential equations of the first order wherein your differential equation at first would not yield a solution to the ones previously discussed. So however, it may be possible to change, so highlight that word, to change some variables so that the differential equation will be transformed to a type that we know how to solve. So let's go ahead and answer some examples. So first example, we have quantity 3x minus 2y plus 1 differential x plus 3x minus 2y plus 3 differential y. So what we can see here is that 3x minus 2y is uh, repeating. And that is what is meant in the topic wherein it says substitution suggested by the equation. So the suggested sub substitution here would be, let's say, v is equal to 3x minus 2y. So let's get the differential of that. And we would arrive at uh, 3 differential x minus 2 differential y. Let's say, for example, we want to uh, substitute for uh, differential x. Then, therefore, this will now become dv plus 2dy all over 3. Okay, so if we apply the substitution to our problem, it will now become 3 minus 2y is v. So, v plus 1 times dx. dx is uh, dv plus 2dy all over 3 plus you have 3x minus 2y here, so that again is v plus 3 times uh, dy is equal to 0. So let's say we multiply 3 to the uh, both sides of the equation. So I will now have v plus 1 times dv plus uh, 2dy plus 3 times v plus 3 dy is equal to 0. So if I will uh, distribute v plus 1 here, it would now become v plus 1 dv plus 2 times v plus 1 dy plus 3 times uh, quantity v plus 3 dy. Okay, So we can combine these uh, two terms here and it will become, so we have 2v here and we have uh, 3v here, so that will become 5v. We have 2 here and we have 9, so that would become 11. So if you will observe, this will now become a uh, differential equation which can be solved by uh, separable variables. So from our uh, resulting differential equation, because it can be solved by uh, variable separable, then therefore we simply multiply 1 over 5v plus 11 and we would have v plus 1 over 5v plus 11 differential v plus dy is equal to 0. Now the two terms can now be integrated but we just have to simplify the first term. So we have v plus 1 divided by 5v plus 11. So this one will uh, have 1 fifth and this will now be v plus 11 over 5. Changing signs. So this one cancels out. So the quotient would be 1 fifth minus 6 over 5 times 5v plus 11. Okay, differential v plus dy is equal to 0. Okay, so we can now uh, integrate. This one would become v over 5 minus 6 over 5. We have here our u as uh, 5v plus 11, so therefore uh, a balancing factor of 1 fifth and then we could solve this by uh, logarithms. So we have natural logarithm of 5v plus 11 and then plus y is equal to c. So our equation, if we multiply 25, then we would have 5v minus uh, 6 ln 5v plus 11 plus y is equal to c. Let's continue. So since we have already integrated our differential equation, we can now go back, go back to uh, the original variable wherein 
we have used v is equal to 3x minus 2y. So we will uh, substitute that back. So we have 5 times 3x minus 2y minus 6 ln times a quantity. 5 times 3x minus 2y plus 11 and then plus y is equal to c. Okay? So, by the way, a little while ago, we multiplied 25. So, this should have been 25y. Okay? So, let's uh, put 25y there and 25y there. Okay, so let's continue. So, this will now become 15x minus uh, 10y plus 25y from here minus 6 times ln of 5 times 3. So, that would now become 15x minus 10y plus 11. Then, is equal to c. So, this is uh, 15x plus 15y minus 6 times ln of 15x minus 10y plus 11 is equal to c. So here we could factor out uh, 15 and this will simply be x plus y minus 6 ln of 15x minus 10y plus 11 is equal to c. We could uh, simplify this again by uh, multiplying one third. And this will be 5 times the quantity x plus y minus 2 times the natural logarithm of the absolute value of 15x minus 10y plus 11 is equal to c. So that would now be our final answer. Okay, so let's go to the next problem. Problem number 2, we have dy over dx is equal to quantity 9x plus 4y plus 1, uh, close quantity squared. Okay, so the obvious substitution that we can make here is v is equal to 9x plus 4y plus 1. Okay, so if we will uh, solve for differential v, we would now have 9dx plus 4dy and then 1, the derivative of 1 is uh, 0. So if we will solve for dy, we will have uh, dv minus 9dx all over 4. So if we substitute that, we will now have dv minus 9dx all over 4. And then uh, we have this one as v squared and then v squared dx. So if we will multiply our whole equation by uh, 4, we have dv minus uh, 9x is equal to 4v squared dx. Let's uh, equate everything to uh, 0. And then, let's uh, factor out. Oh, by the way, let me correct this. This one is differential x. Okay. 9dx. Okay. So, dv minus... Factor out here uh, differential x, negative differential x. So we'll have 9d, 9v plus 4 squared dx is equal to c. So this uh, again is uh, a differential equation wherein we could uh, solve this by separation of variables. So the resulting differential equation would now become dv over 9 plus uh, 4v squared. Then minus dx is equal to 0. So the first term here can be solved using uh, integration by uh, inverse trigonometric formulas. And uh, that would now become, uh, for simplicity's sake, let's uh, do it as uh, 3 squared, dv over 3 squared, and then 2v quantity squared. And dx is equal to 0. So again, we will apply the integral of du over u squared plus a squared or a squared plus u squared. And that would be equal to 1 over a arctangent of u over a plus c. Okay, so we have here our a as 3. So we have 1 over a. And then we can see that our u is 2v. So our du is 2dv. Therefore, we would have a balancing factor of 1 half. 
Okay. So again, this is a is equal to three. A is equal to three. So we'll now have uh, one third times one half, and then our tangent of two v over three minus x is equal to c. Okay. So let's say we multiply six to both sides of the equation. We'll now have our tangent. We can uh, substitute v. In our uh, answer, v is equal to 9x plus 4y plus 1. So 2 times 9x plus 4y plus 1, all over 3, minus 6x is equal to c. Okay? And that would be our final answer. Problem number 3. So problem number three, we have uh, y prime is equal to sine of uh, x plus y. So the obvious uh, substitution that uh, we can do here is v is equal to x plus, x plus y. And we have dv is equal to dx plus dy. And therefore, dy would be equal to uh, dv minus dx. Okay, so we have dy over dx is equal to sine x plus y dy is equal to sine of x plus y dx. So we do the, we'll do the substitution. dv minus dx is equal to sine v dx. Okay? So we have dv minus dx minus sine v dx is equal to 0. Factor out dx here. Actually, negative dx, uh, it will now be Quantity 1 plus sine v dx is equal to 0. So again, this uh, would be a variable separable. And the result resulting differential equation would be dv over 1 plus sine v. 1 plus sine v. Okay. Minus dx is equal to 0. So in order to solve the, this uh, first term, let's uh, multiply 1 minus uh, sine v over 1 minus sine v. So effectively, that is uh, still equal to 1. So dv over 1 plus sine v minus dx is equal to 0. So if I will uh, simplify, this will be 1 minus uh, sine v dv and the denominator here would be 1 minus sine squared dv. Now, 1 minus sine squared dv is uh, cosine squared. So, I will have 1 minus sine v times dv over cosine squared v and then minus dx is equal to 0. So, if I will distribute cosine squared, so I will have second squared v dv minus cosine cosine v raised to negative 2, okay, or cosine raised to negative 2v, then we have sine v dv minus dx is equal to 0. So this one can be integrated by uh, simply tangent v, and then this one is uh, by power formula. So the differential of cosine is uh, negative sine v, so this will now become positive. So cosine v raised to negative 1 over negative 1, minus x is equal to c. So, this is a matter of simplification. v is equal to x plus y. So, tangent of x plus y minus, this will become second. So, second of x plus y minus x is equal to c. So, that would now be our final answer. Okay? So, last problem. So problem number 4, we have y prime is equal to 2 times the quantity 3x plus y, quantity squared minus 1. Now we have to solve for the particular solution. When x is 0, y is equal to 1. So the obvious substitution here, as you have already noticed, is v is equal to 3x plus y. So we have dv is equal to 3 differential x plus dy. And dy, we would... Uh, it would be easier for us if we would just solve for dy. So dy is equal to dv minus 3 differential x. So if we do the substitution, dy, this is dy over dx. So let's uh, 
substitute dv minus uh, 3 dx and then we have equals to 2 times v squared minus 1 and then close quantity differential x okay so we have dv minus uh, 3dx is equal to 2v squared dx minus dx and if we will uh, transpose everything to the left side we'll have dv minus uh, 3dx minus 2v squared dx minus dx or plus dx is equal to 0 okay so uh, we have here dv and then this 2 can be negative 3x plus dx is minus minus 2dx is equal to 0. We could factor out negative 2. So minus 2 and this will become v squared plus 1. dx is equal to 0. Now this again is a variable separable. Multiply 1 over v squared plus 1 and we'll have dv over v squared plus 1 minus 2dx is equal to 0. So the first term here is uh, simply arctangent. Arctangent of v, we can clearly see that. And then the second term is minus 2x is equal to c. Okay. Then we return the substitution back to v. And uh, back to the original variable, v is equal to 3x plus y. So arctangent of uh, 3x plus y minus 2x is equal to c. So we can now solve for the particular solution. This is our general solution. And the particular solution is that when x is 0, y is 1. So let's write that down. x is 0, y is 1. So we'll have arctangent. Arctangent 3 times 0 plus 1, so that would simply be 1, and this one is 2 times 0 is 0, so therefore c is equal to arctangent 1. Now, arctangent 1, uh, if you get your scientific calculator, that would be equal to 45 degrees, but we are uh, we want to solve in uh, radians, so 45 degrees is uh, actually pi over 4, so that is uh, equal to c, so final answer we're now nearing the final answer arctangent 3x plus y minus 2x is equal to pi over 4 okay so you just uh, multiply 4 both sides of the equation will arrive at 4 arctangent of uh, 3x plus y minus 2x is equal to pi okay and that would now be our final answer so I hope you have learned something in this video. Remember, for uh, this topic, which is substitution suggested by the equation, you just have to look for uh, the correct substitution. And that is usually something that is uh, suggested. No? This is the keyword there, suggested by the equation. Okay, Suggested means to say, uh, sometimes it's repeating, sometimes it's the only substitution that uh, you can make. So thank you for watching.